Hello Astronomy 151 students, this is Mr. Stockbridge. Tonight I'm filming from the basement, or the dungeon, of the Stockbridge household. This is where I keep my telescope set up, so I'm going to give you just a quick tour of one final type of telescope, which is mentioned a little bit in the book, and is very popular among amateur astronomers, but um, we haven't really talked about a lot yet. So let's take a look. Okay, this is my personal telescope. This is a very different type of telescope from the two that you saw in the other videos. This is a reflecting telescope. Now let's go ahead, zoom in here, and we'll take a look. First of all, well, the lighting is poor on this side, but yes, we do still have a finder scope. Now, this telescope looks big and bad. It looks a little more impressive than it actually is right now, although it is a great, great telescope. This top piece here, here is different than this. This is the main tube of the telescope down here. This guy is just a, a plastic tube that attaches to the front. It's called a dew shield. Basically, its job is to keep the dew, the moisture, off of the glass of the telescope itself. This is just a cover that I keep on there to make sure it doesn't get dusty. Let's take a look inside the telescope. So right here there's a first piece of glass going around that you see. Its job is literally just to keep dust off of the main mirror. That shine way in the back there, that's the primary mirror. And this telescope is called a technically a catadioptric telescope. That's the family that it belongs to. Um, the light reflects off of that back mirror. On the back of this orange piece there's another mirror. It's a small secondary mirror, kind of like what we saw in the uh, the reflecting telescope that the college has. It bounces the light back down. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's another tube right there Basically, there is a hole cut, a small hole cut into the primary mirror so that the light comes into the telescope, bounces off the primary mirror, comes back up to the secondary mirror, bounces from there directly back out again through the back of the telescope. Now we're just looking up through the tube. And this spot right here, this is where um, there's an attachment that we have to put on here, and then the telescope eyepiece goes onto that attachment. Technically, this is a this is known as a Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. It's a type of reflector. Um, the technical name for the type of reflector is also a catadioptric. You'll hear most people talk about this as a Schmidt Cassegrain. It's very, very common, very popular style of telescope amongst amateur astronomers. Um, you'll also notice that it's mounted differently than the other telescopes that we saw. This is called a fork mount telescope. There's still two axes. The telescope can spin this way. Or the telescope can spin. Oops. That was slick. Or the telescope can spin up and down this way. So, this is also a very common type of telescope amongst amateur astronomers. This one is motorized, the motor is in here and here's a little part of the motor as well. It's a great telescope. It has an 8 inch aperture. I've owned this telescope for an embarrassingly long time. Uh, I've owned this telescope for about 15 years I believe. At least 15 years. And I've never been able to uh, 
I've never tried looking at things that it couldn't show me. I've never maxed out its real abilities. So it's a great telescope. Just thought you'd want to see one more popular type of telescope uh, that is not discussed in depth in the PowerPoint or the textbook. This is Mr. Stockbridge signing off from the dungeon. Maybe some other time I'll give you a video of what's going on in this project over here where I'm trying to make my own telescope. But we'll save that for another time. I hope this was all helpful. We'll see you in class.